Hi everyone, this is Sridhar at eShakshana. In this video, we will discuss on data transmission in telemetry. We will have a discussion on data or signal transmission, types of data transmission in telemetry, mechanical transmission, hydraulic transmission, pneumatic transmission, magnetic transmission, electric type transmitters and converters. We will start the discussion by defining the data transmission and telemetry. The term data transmission and telemetry refers to the process by which the measurement is transferred to a remote location for the purpose of being processed or recorded and displayed. The term measuring device and transmitters generally go side by side and it is too dif very difficult to make any distinguish between them. A measuring device converts a primary indication into some of the energy that can be easily displayed on a scale. Some transmitters also do the same thing. Exactly the transmitters are the devices which transmits the value of the primary variable at considerable distance from the primary element. If transmission is to be carried out over a longer distance, then devices are known as telemeters. The selection of transmission devices depends upon the nature of variable and the distance the signal is required to be sent. For transmission purpose, the measured variable is converted to an transmittable signal either pneumatic or electric so that it can be recovered by uh, some remote indicating or recording or controlling device. We will discuss on type of data transmission. For data transmission, the various methods have been developed. The choice of particular method depends on a physical variable and distance involved. The hydraulic and pneumatic methods are employed for transmission over a short distance. The pneumatic type transmission devices are generally suitable for transmission up to maximum distance of 200 meters. The electric or electronic methods are suitable equal for shorter distance as well as well as longer distances generally a shorter transmission is carried out on over communication connections between sending and receiving devices the telemeters which are designed for longer distance transmission may be designed to transmit over their own wire or over a phone wires or by microwave so we have a different types of data transmission mechanical transmission hydraulic transmission pneumatic transmission magnetic transmission electric type transmitters converters so we'll discuss these one by one first we'll start with the mechanical transmission the rack and pinion arrangement and the gear trains are used in a bourdon tube pressure gauge and the dial indicator gauge of a mechanical transmission. They amplify the displacement into a transmitted signal to a pointer which moves across the calibrated dial. So this is about the mechanical transmissions. Next, we'll discuss on hydraulic transmission. The figure shows the hydraulic method consisting of four bellows. Two bellows are at the transmitting end and other two bellows at the receiving end. And at the transmitting end, the output from the transducer is used as an actuating input and the output end or a receiving end is connected with a pointer. So all these four bellows are connected by an impulsive pipeline. The construction uses 
the two bellows at the transmitting end and two at the receiving end all four bellows are connected by impulse pipeline and whole system is filled with the liquid when actuating link on the transmitting end is operated by the major end then one bellows is expanded and another is contracted if if the output from the transducer is actuated by this either bellow 1 expands and the bellow 2 contracts so that impulsive effect is imposed on the bellow 4 and 3 the deflection of the pointer can be observed in the respective direction the action is transmitted to the receiving end which moves the receiving pointer to an equal amount so this expansion and contraction is communicated to the receiving end and the purpose of using two bellows on either side is to compensate for changes in ambient temperature so this is about the hydraulic transmission next we'll discuss on pneumatic transmission this is a construction of pneumatic transmission which contains uh, the nozzle flapper arrangement where air is being supplied to a nozzle which is made to fall on the flapper and balancing counterweight is being arranged a linear movement of the transducer from the measurement can be applied at this end It consists of an open nozzle which is supplied with an air through restriction of orifice. So in front of the nozzle there is a flapper is positioned by the measuring element. The force on the flapper is produced by the transducer which converts the measurement into a linear displacement. The flapper is provided about a point and the other end it contains some balancing counterweight. When the flapper is moved against the nozzle, the air cannot escape. The maximum air passes through the amplifier and when flapper is moved away from the nozzle, the minimum air passes through the amplifier as most of the air escapes to the atmosphere. Thus, the moment of flapper from one extreme position to another serves to control the amplifier which produces an air pressure proportional to the measurement of adequate strength for transmission over the required distance. This is how the pneumatic transmission works. Next we will discuss on magnetic transmission. The arrangement is shown in the diagram which contains armature and a non-magnetic tube within that a mechanical movement element is being attached and the magnet and the arrangement is connected to an a counterweight to a pneumatic or electric transmitter this arrangement an armature is attached at the end of the mechanical moving part whose moment is to be transmitted outside the armature moment inside a non magnetic tube a magnet is placed around the armature outside the tube the magnet follows the moment of armature and repositions a pneumatic transmitter the magnet moment could also be utilized to operate an electronic transmitter this is about how magnetic transmission works next we'll discuss on electric type transmitters the most of electric type transmitters employed AC bridge circuits in which degree of coupling between inductance is read by changing the amount of iron core within a coil. These are common type of transmitters using AC bridge circuits. Wheatstone bridge transmitters, inductance bridge transmitter, impedance bridge transmitter, differential transformer, self synchronous motor resistance manometers studied these bridge circuits 
in various courses so we'll not go into the details next we'll discuss on converters the converters are series of transducers which play an important role in modern instrumentation linking electrical and pneumatic systems together the following are the most commonly used converters using voltage and current based current to pneumatic converters and pneumatic to current converters voltage to current converters and voltage to pneumatic converters this is about the converters employed in an data transmission of telemeters thank you for watching